My name is Rachel Green and I've been a chef for almost 30 years. I love my job and a big part of that is my passion for flavours. Learning about seasoning, herbs and spices and their combinations have been invaluable to me and I'd like to share my experiences with you in the Cole and Mason Seasoning School. We really understand at Cole and Mason how important it is to season your food properly. There are no hard and fast rules, there's no formula for seasoning, it's all about experience and confidence and actually the more you cook, the more potential you have to release the flavours in your cooking. Now to make this more fun, I'm going to show you some very unusual ways to use herbs and spices in your cooking. For example, it isn't just about main courses and starters, you can use spices and herbs all the way through the spectrum, from baking to cocktails to making some sugars, to jams and preserves. It's limitless. Here I've got some different ways of using herbs and spices. Something to titillate your taste buds. For example, we've got chili and raspberry jam. It really is a, a winning combination. Then here we've got some sugar. Now, I've got some dried lavender flowers. And just very simply, pull the dried lavender flowers into the sugar and you just literally will mix in the lavender flowers and put it into a seal container and you've got lovely lavender sugar that you can bake with, uh, you can actually make a cocktail with, there's lots and lots of different uses for that. And moving on here, one of my favourites and this is crab apple jelly and again great with pork and game and things like that and um, it, it, what I've done is actually add some cloves to it and actually when I when I smell that jelly, I can get the apples and the cloves. It's, it, it is a really great combination. Here also, some very simple ways of actually adding a dimension to your cooking. In this mister, I've added some chilli flakes. So with that standing at the side of the cooker, you instantly, without really even thinking about it, are adding some, some chilli and some heat to your dish. And that will keep for ages because they're dried, so there's no worry about a fresh chilli going off. And then we've got a sort of oil and vinegar combination here with some fresh thyme in. And I think that looks great and that really makes me want to use that and dress either roasted vegetables or salads, but it's there all the time. It's not just about oils, but it's about butter as well. So, some softened butter. I'm going to put a little tiny bit of salt in because obviously we need to again add a little bit of seasoning to it. And then I'm going to add the flavouring, and the flavouring is the thyme. So, just put in, and I want to put in plenty, so I'm going to use the option that gives me more. And instantly, I've transformed fairly ordinary butter with a little tiny bit of freshly ground salt and my thyme. And that takes me from butter to something really special. I've got a lovely selection of breads here. We've incorporated caraway seeds and fennel seeds into it. It's just a simple shake into the dough. It just works so easily. And then going on to one of my favourites, which is mango and chilli sorbet. You get that lovely fresh taste of the mango and then that explosion of heat from the chilli. It's a great combination. And then we all have lots of herbs in our store cupboard and particularly mint people have and it's so simple to make your own herb tea so literally i just put the mint into the middle of the diffuser of the teapot and just get some boiling water and you leave it for about three minutes to infuse and you get this i just love all these herb teas so refreshing after a meal a lovely refreshing mint tea so not everybody likes tea, but a lot of people like coffee. And this is, again, a, a fabulous uh, way to make different coffees. And it's using cardamom pods. What you do is you take the seeds out of the pod, you just get the black seeds like that, and you crush them, pestle and mortar, whatever, and you put them into the ground coffee and you make your coffee as normal. And you just smell and the aromas of this fabulous coffee. Mm. Lovely. And now for something delicious and sweet. 
don't forget to use your herbs and spices for your puddings, cakes, and your baking. I mean, I've made this lovely honey, apple, and thyme cake. I've used dried thyme in it. The apples are in the middle, tossing the thyme in the apples. It's just absolutely delicious, so I'm gonna cut you a slice. Let's see how we've, how we've fared in the middle. The thyme with the honey just lifts the whole thing. But look at that. We've got that lovely apple center with the thyme. And just drizzle a little tiny bit more honey on top. <gasps> wow, that looks gorgeous. And then, probably my favorite thing, black pepper meringues. Just so simple to do, a meringue mixture with some quite finely ground black pepper into them and just bake them as normal and then serve them with strawberries because black pepper and strawberries is a fabulous combination. So to just finish this dish, I'm going to put a little bit more pepper on top, particularly on the strawberries, and then I'm just going to drizzle some balsamic vinegar on. And do you know what you need with this? A whole load of mascarpone. Look at that. Now that, for me, is very different.